it's the ultimate partnership model uh, here at Crystal Ray Philadelphia. We exclusively serve underserved families and children uh, from the Philadelphia area, including Camden, New Jersey. Uh, we're providing them with a college prep education to give them the opportunity to transform their lives. We like to say that we're founded and funded by the Philadelphia business community and, and um, donor community. And uh, the work study program is one way that uh, they work with us, partner with us, contribute to our uh, mission. So Chris Array offers a work study program where students can go and work at a job site once a week. I've learned so much that will aid me in my future career. Um, we don't get this experience in the classroom. The, uh, the poise and uh, maturity of these students it's remarkable, it really is. In any Philadelphia neighborhood right now, you will find an ecosystem of nonprofits that are working to address whatever challenges those neighborhoods face, okay? Those nonprofits will not succeed unless we have a strong charitable system behind it. We need more kids to be able to attend a school like this. But as you can imagine, a private college prep school that gets no funding from um, any uh, federal or local uh, state agency, uh, we need a lot of support because our families can't necessarily pay for this education. The Connolly Foundation is a, a really, really important and strategic partner of ours. Uh, they've been with us from the very onset, literally uh, from the starting point, uh, from startup. John Connolly, who grew up not far from here in North Philadelphia, had to drop out of school in sixth grade so he spent his whole life acutely aware of what he was missing because he hadn't had an education. So that's why he wanted to direct as much of his success as he could to helping similar kids who might be in a similar situation uh, be able to get a good quality education. And when um, we learned about the idea of Cristo Rey, it was right in the bullseye. Here at our school we have an old tricycle factory that is a big part of our campus and uh, we now call that the Connolly Factory because of their generous uh, donation to help us build this amazing campus for our students. I mean the, the building is something else. It makes a statement. It says kids in Philadelphia can and need to go to a facility that's on par with any facility outside of this city. It would be very easy to, with the best of intentions, enact policies that wind up having a terrible effect on charitable giving. Congress should instead be focusing on policies that encourage more giving. If we veer to the side where we believe that government is the only provider, the only solution, and resources should only come to and then from government, we will fail on every accord. We simply can't do it alone. We need the nonprofit sector to succeed. We need people corporations, philanthropy, to give to these nonprofits to allow them to, to follow through on their missions. So me personally, I have a scholarship partner and I've met with them, the Lions family. Uh, they are so gracious and helpful. So for those who donate to our school to help keep the doors open and further our personal education and education in general, they're just a huge help to us. Crystal Ray is such a great example of the American genius for creativity and initiative. You know, it only works because there are private citizens and uh, corporations and supporters who help out. It enriches everybody to be part of this incredible private charity. We pull all these folks together in an incredible partnership and we make it work for the benefit of some very deserving students. I can't emphasize enough that our students deserve this opportunity, they deserve this great facility we have, and they put the hard work in to make the most of it. And that's, um, that's what I'm most proud of, is them. I am very proud of myself because the college and career team has also helped me in my personal journey. However, just the people in Crystal Ray has also pushed me to go further than I've ever imagined. So the fact that I was able to be so advanced in these academic programs, I feel as though I've accomplished something in my life. We only hear about uh, the, the challenges that our public education system is, is facing. And it, it makes you feel like 
all is lost. And then you come to a place like this and you see the, the, the engagement of the teachers, you see the leadership potential of these students, uh, you see what kind of facility they can go to school in, you see their engagement in community activities and sports, and you, you come away thinking uh, everything's not so bad after all.